Times when you get up to Niagara Falls, you start thinking about things outdoors. It's indoors where we're turning our attention today, where Rachel Elzefan checks out how one man brought R&B and rock and roll to the whole East Coast. Yeah, Andy, there is so much history here at in Buffalo pertaining to music. I'm joined now by Greg Hennessy uh, with the Buffalo Music Hall of Fame. Yes. We're talking about Hound Dog now, a huge yes. part of Buffalo's music le legacy. Oh, probably the the person who's probably the most important uh, member of the Buffalo Music Hall of Fame. Uh, it was a part of our history that when a, a record was on the radio. George Houndog Lorenz was responsible for getting it up and down the East Coast and over in London. And if he put your record on the radio, it was going to be a hit. I mean, there was no question about it. Um, he was also the, uh, the sole person responsible for, for uh, getting a lot of people on the radio and also a reason why the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame was actually a finalist to be here in Buffalo. And a lot of people don't know that. And that is because of the Hound. He did so much for music in general. Now, where I am right now, actually, Brian McKnight's jacket is here. We've got the Google Goo Dolls guitar behind me. You guys really want to bring memorabilia from musicians from Western New York and, and, and keep it and store it. Why is that so important? Yes. Well, the memorabilia is important as well as the stories that are behind it. I mean, with all the memorabilia, we have plaques that kind of have a small history about who this person was and why they were important to the fabric of the music community here in Buffalo. Um, all of the folks that we have here in, in the hall really represent a, a wide variety of music genres from, from polka, death metal, to rock and roll, to uh, country, uh, you name it. And uh, um, it's really important that the legacy we have, you could go anywhere in the country and I don't think you'll find as great a music scene and as diverse of a music scene and all of the history of the backstories and what's happened here in Buffalo and this is what we're trying to preserve bring to the bring to the public and having the uh, rock and roll or the the hard rock here in the Niagara Falls and the international audience that they get in the exposure that the Buffalo Music Hall of Fame then can get because the international audience comes here is just amazing uh, we get at least 70 different countries that hit our website and people that are interested about the folks that are here on the wall and yep. the other folks that are in our organization. Thank you so much, Greg. Just an amazing, like you said, representation of genre all represented here at the Buffalo Music Hall of Fame. Andy?